I'm back. Did you miss me? So, it is just me this week because Davis is gone, flying on his hurricane block. I just got back from mine, but now he is uh, kind of on call in case any storms pop up and he will be the one flying them this time around. So my husband and I took part-time jobs with the hurricane hunter so that we could have more time to start our furniture business here in Houston. And this is our busiest time of the year because we're in the middle of summer, it's peak hurricane season. So both of us are in and out flying storms and going out to our Air Force units, but also also, believe it or not, we're preparing for the holiday season already in our business. We've had so much going on in and outside of our businesses. So honestly, the focus of our businesses and our, and our YouTube content has been the outcome of the businesses and the outcome of YouTube videos rather than the process of how exactly we got there. And the process of what we've been doing in our business, both the furniture side and the media side, involves a whole lot of other people. We've had a lot of people involved behind the scenes able to make possible what we do on a daily basis. So let me introduce you to our team. So we run two businesses. We have a furniture business and we also have a multimedia business, but they both share the same space, which is super nice. And as you would imagine, running two businesses simultaneously is pretty busy. So it wasn't long before we realized we needed to hire some people to help us out because we officially could not get everything done, just Davis and myself. Our goal is that once we get to the point where we have to hire somebody to fill a role, Davis and I will never have to go back and fill that role again. And we really wanna make this a fun and meaningful place to work. We always wanna make sure that our businesses are bigger and, and solving bigger problems than just Davis and myself. Okay, so let's take you on a ride for what a regular day looks like. So, Caitlin, what are we doing? We are scripting this week's YouTube video. Yes. It will be live, what, tomorrow? Um, it is for currently, us, probably tomorrow, for us, yeah. yes, it is currently 9.36 a.m. Monday yep. morning. <laughs> 9.37 and we've been staring at this script for an hour and a half. We might be experiencing a little <laughs> bit of writer's block. Yes. It's fine. Yep. So we get there eventually. <laughs> we started back here on our writing board and then now we're translating that over here to the A computer. Google Doc, yeah. yeah. Yes, sometimes. last week's went pretty smooth and then this week. We're struggling We're, to We've plateaued, so. <laughs> it happens to the best writers, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Anyways, this is our typical Monday morning. We'll catch y'all up later. As a business owner, you know it's probably time to hire an employee or two when you have a very repeatable process that you don't necessarily have time for anymore, but would be easily done by somebody else. Editing, for example, was a pretty repeatable process. And so when Davis didn't have time for it anymore, we hired Caleb. All right, guys. Y'all know and love him. Our very first hire here on the media side of the house. What is your name? My name is Caleb. What, what do you do here? I am the editor and media assistant to Caitlin. Assistant, <laughs> assistant to the regional Caitlin. <laughs> no, I love it. This is our video editor, Caleb. He's fantastic. What, let the people get to know you. What could you give a 40 minute presentation on with zero preparation. Zero, I would need no preparation. So, most people don't know this about me, but I am a very big sock person. Um, I own 80 pairs of silly socks that I just decide what I'm gonna wear that day based on how I'm feeling, my personality. So, I would give an intense speech about s s silly socks. About silly socks, I love it. That's Caleb, everybody. <laughs> and when we couldn't really give social media the appropriate attention that it deserved, but we had figured out how to master it, we brought on Caitlin. And next on the media side, we have... 
Hi, I'm Caitlin. Caitlin, what do you do on the side of the business? I am the media manager. Okay, would you like to elaborate on media yes. manager? <laughs> Um, manage the media. <laughs> um, I, um, I make sure that there's content to post, post the content, and it has morphed into me writing the YouTube scripts. Mm -hmm. So if y'all hate the YouTube videos, that would be on me. Um, <laughs> come up with the stories, write script. Um, and yeah, just make sure that we have a consistent brand voice mm -hmm. across all platforms. Awesome, okay, so the important question. If yes. you had to give a presentation for 40 minutes without any preparation, what would it be on? So I have two answers. Um, one of which I don't know if counts because I have been known to give quite a lengthy <laughs> presentation on Dolly Parton, um, but I have prepared for that. I do have a PowerPoint presentation <laughs> if you want it, let me know. <laughs> um, I have prepared for that, but I can talk for 40 minutes on that. Um, the other thing I haven't prepared for, but I could quite possibly fill 40 minutes with, is um, history of interiors and interior design and architecture. Nice. <laughs> Studied it, think it's super fascinating. I love it. Not a whole lot of people think it's cool, but I do. <laughs> That's what I could fill 40 minutes talking about. Awesome. And by far our most repeatable process through and through is our board fulfillments. So we wanted to hire somebody to help us fulfill, which meant we needed to make more sales to pay for fulfillment folks. This is Adi. He's been helping us out with uh, cutting board fulfillments. What's up? What's your name? Uh, my name's Adi. And what do you do? And I am in the warehouse. I like help J Davis with whatever he does. Um, I'm a boxer, I'm a master boxer. And not that boxing but making the boxes. What could you give a 40 minute presentation on with no preparation? Um, so basically I'm, I'm a cook, I'm a world renowned chef and I just love to cook anything. And so if I had to give a presentation on that, I can like teach someone in 40 minutes how to cook a dish. So what made you want to work here? What made me want to work here? It was just like, it was surrounded by people I love and um, care about and they were just, it seemed like they're doing a great job here. And me. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> and you. And, and I, I knew you guys from before and I knew like it would be a fun environment to work in and I was available to ha work a job. And so I was just like, why not, why not choose Samara Company? You know? I like it. Samara sounds Indian too. So. <laughs> I, I thought it. I, I had it to, does. I never thought about it that way, but yeah. it does. That 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 was really the selling point. <laughs> nice. All right, we have our newest hire, Sydney, hey. and um, well, what's your hey. name? <laughs> My name is Sydney Escamilla. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And um, what do you do here with us? Uh, whatever, Ginny and Davis told me to do. Out in the warehouse, though. In the warehouse. Yes. 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 So he's out in the heat. But yes. he is only here in the mornings yes. to try to beat some of the heat. Yes. We are in Houston. Um, and then why did you want to work here? Um, well, I am a full-time musician and- Very good. I needed to do something that got me out of bed uh, and not just lay around <laughs> during the day. Because most of what I do is in the afternoons and evenings. If you can give a 40 minute presentation with zero preparation, what would it be on? I would say that it would be on Paul McCartney and maybe his effect on the Beatles, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because I, I he mean, did he was a part it? of the Beatles, obviously, but like how I mean, he... he he was like the the grinding guy in the Beatles and just had, I think, it's, it can be argumented, but even a little bit more than John Lennon was maybe a little bit more effective in music. And Sally's been selling so much that we were able to hand off some of the fulfillments to other people. So far, we've had a mix of hiring experiences. So Caleb was introduced to us through a mutual friend and he already had a part-time job going, so we were able to snag him for about two days a week. Caitlin was already one of our friends and was looking for a slight change in careers. We actually hired her on as a salesperson for Samara, but then opened up a position here on this side of the house. And she's now our social media manager. And then after four months of just being the four of us, our little family, we hired on Sally. She's working from home today, so she's not in the video, but she is a vital part of our team. She actually came to us through one of the realtors that buys and uses our boards as closing gifts. She was looking for a change in careers after, gosh, like 13 years in real estate, which is amazing. So we're lucky to have her and it's been great. 
And lastly, are our two newest additions, Audie and Sydney. Audie actually just graduated high school and is off to the University of Texas in the fall. He was looking for some summer work and between all of our fulfillments and us being gone for hurricane season, we were really in need of some help. So he works part-time in the warehouse fulfilling boards as well as just keeping everybody entertained. And Sydney is our other warehouse employee, helps us out fulfilling boards every morning. He's actually also a full-time songwriter and musician. And so we're super lucky to snag him for a couple of days a week. And uh, he's been doing fantastic things for us. So I do currently have some job postings on like indeed.com, uh, LinkedIn, online sources like that, but we've really had the best luck hiring people just through word of mouth. So while Caitlin and I are doing the script for the YouTube video, Jenny is out in the warehouse doing some board fulfillments. So what have you been up to? Board fulfillments? Yep. Like <laughs> Lots of yep. them. Yes. Basically just catching up. Um, and we're selling a lot of scrap as well. Yes. So we have another full load of scraps. We do. Already. Show, show the people. It's been about a week and we are already full of scraps once again. So. Once again. So uh, go to the link below and uh, if you want a box of scrap, we'll ship it right to your door. So if it's hard to get hardwood in your area, uh, we got you covered. Yep. Anyways, that's what I've been up to. I've just been fulfilling boards, clearing out the inbox. It's my turn to be here for two weeks and handle everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Thankfully, I've got a team with me. Yes. <laughs> so that's helpful. what we are here for. Yes. So Davis and I first learned our like managerial skills or our people managing skills, I guess, from the Air Force. Um, I actually started supervising people in the military at a younger age than I thought I would uh, just because some people ended up moving around in my job position. But I am so thankful for those experiences that I had um, learning how to supervise and just manage people as a whole. And I'd say the main difference between supervising people in the Air Force versus in our businesses is that when you go into the Air Force, they pretty much have everything figured out for you already. It's all organized, there's set job descriptions, set tasks, and you just have to teach people how to do it. But in your own business, you have to design the tasks and the organizational structure and all the checklists and everything. And before you can expect an employee to come in and do it 100% correctly, you have to have done it 100% correctly yourself first. Something that really helps when you're hiring a new employee is figuring out what excites them and how you can incorporate that into their everyday role. They will show up 100% ready to perform their job if they feel like there's something worth doing, that they're excited for, there's a reason they're coming in to work today that they care about. We've honestly adjusted a lot of our employees' roles the longer they've been here and the more we get to know them because we understand what they like to do, what really lights them on fire, and what makes them excited to come in every single morning. And that's something I learned in the Air Force is that as you transition into more of a managerial role, sometimes you forget what it's like to be on the ground floor and, and doing the actual job. And then that gets frustrating to the technician who's doing that job every day because they feel like you don't understand what they're going through or what they're doing. It's been so long and sometimes you just have to step back and remember what it was like to be on that ground floor as the technician doing the day-to-day -day job. And that's something we really try to keep in mind as we bring more people on the team. All right, it's about four o'clock and we've been busy the last few hours. So what have we been up to? So we took our script and we shot all the shots that we needed to do. Very quickly. Very quickly, I know, I know. actually, yes. Jenny did great. We got the thumbnail photo, which turned mm -hmm. out pretty good, I actually think. And then we shot all the B-roll and all the stuff that's added into the video. And now it's about four o'clock and we're ready to go home. Ready to go home. We are so thankful for all of the growth that we've experienced so far, but if we want to keep growing, we need to hire more people. And that is where you come in. We're still hiring sales specialists for Samara Table Company. So if you know somebody who's local to Houston, who's looking for a sales related position, we would love to hear from them. Just fill out our Google Forms link down below in the description. Please, serious, serious inquiries only. And stay tuned to see how I survive the next two weeks by myself without Davis. Wish me luck. Do it, I just stick to the